Hello, in this video, we're going to use the order of operations and do some arithmetic to figure out what this expression equals. So, when we're dealing with a, an expression like this, and we see these parentheses here, the first thing we're going to do is subtract what's inside these parentheses. I'm going to start with 8 minus 2. I know that's 6. Over here, 2 minus 7, well, let me think about that. I know that 7 minus 2 is 5. And I also know if I change the order to 2 minus 7, I change the sign of the difference. So instead of a 5, by switching the order, right from 7 to 2 to 2 minus 7, I switch the sign to negative, and this time we still get 5. A fancy way of saying this is that by switching the order, we get a number with the same absolute value, in other words, a number with the same distance from 0, but the opposite sign. If we look at a number line, to understand this, right? let's say we have 7 here, here's 7, and then we take 2 away. That gets us to 5, right? Well, what about 2 minus 7? Well, on the other side of the number line, I'll show it over here, I ran out of room, I guess, sorry. Uh, 4, 3, 2, there's 2. So I'll put it down here, sorry. And then we take 7 away. That brings us down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So 7 minus five, 2 is 5, excuse me, and 2 minus 7 is negative 5. Isn't that nice? What does that mean? Well, I know that positive 5 is 5 away from 0. So the absolute value of 5 is 5. I also know that negative 5 is 5 hops from 0. So we say the absolute value of negative 5 is also 5. And you'd write it like this. The absolute value of negative 5 is 5. And the absolute value of 5 is 5. Right? Absolute value tells you how far a number is from 0. So when you change the order of the, the numbers you're subtracting, you get a number that is the same, has the same absolute value but the opposite sign. Now I said a lot there, probably more than I needed to, but basically this is a really great technique that I like to use when I'm subtracting numbers. Now we have negative 5 and 6. Well, I know 5 times 6 is 30, so negative 5 times 6 would be the opposite, negative 30. All right, thank you.